like all the videos on Saigon Cat's channel are made possible by fans like you. Totally. Hello, everybody. Saigon Cat here with more of the Dragon Quest VII live streamed Let's Play. We are going to Dharma Temple today. We are finally going to get our jobs, our classes, our vocations. Whatever you may wish to call them. Uh, we're all healed up. We're all saved. There's nothing left to do but make the journey. Make the pilgrimage. Do, 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 do. Good morning, Glitchster. I hope you're having a lovely morning today. Pips! We have Pips to fight! Ah, the one on the left has, uh, is dressed kinda like Roto. That's adorbs. Boomerangs all over the place! <laughs> Boomerangs and whips and whips and boomerangs. These monsters don't stand a chance. Everything will be attacked. Look at that. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. The slime knight made it through, but whatever. <laughs> They are cute monsters, Glitchster. It's one of the best things about the Dragon Quest series. It doesn't take itself seriously. I always get a little bit baffled by the people who hate on the puns and the lighter side of Dragon Quest. Like, that's that's what it's always been like. <laughs> I mean, I guess the, uh, the first couple of entries that we got here in the West on the NES... Had uh, very serious, very, very serious um, translations, and that's just. I feel that might have been an error on the translators at the time. Hi, Ashes! Probably, probably watching ads, but hi, Ashes! What part? What up? Uh, uh, what part? What part were you getting frustrated at, Sadie? Anything I can offer you some advice on? Man, those enemies just spawning up, <laughs> one after another, in front of me. It's like Maribel's focusing on the. I can't believe it's not butter drakies. Stop with the fire breath. It is unappreciated. All Trades Abbey. Okay, it's Dar it's not Dharma Temple. It's All Trades Abbey in this one. My bad. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, you punk! The journey to the next boss, which will unlock the abbey? Oh, uh, well, I will see how it goes today. Oh my god, all these enemies. All these enemies. They're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Really? 
rough? That was what you decided to go after? Was the mouse nap? Ah, okay, I see, Sadie. You know, I've you're not the first person to say that this next boss coming up is pretty freaking hard, and I don't remember him from the uh I don't remember him from the PlayStation game, so we'll see how it goes today. This might turn into a grinding a grinding episode. I wonder what that big building in the mountains is. It doesn't look like a castle. There's a treasure chest over here. Strength ring! What do you have on right now? The prayer ring? I should give the strength ring to uh, Ruff. That's like six attack points. That's like getting a new weapon. No, 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 no! Bad cat! Bottom, bum, 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 bum. Yes, please go to the Monster Meadows. Good on you. Carry on, little monster. Okay. Okay. I know shit is going to be going down very soon. Welcome to All Trades Abbey. If you wish to change your vocation, please speak to the High Priest. You will find him at the altar just up the stairs. Oh god, wait, no, it's starting to come back to me. Crap. I think I should have bought herbs before I came here. Crap. I think we're I think we might actually be poorly prepared for this. We'll see. We will see very shortly. I decided I didn't want to change vocation after all, but they're being very insistent. All of the officials are encouraging me to switch trades, but I've realized that I was born to be a merchant. Why won't they listen to me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm remembering this. I'm remembering this. There's nothing to worry about. If you change vocations, you'll still retain all the abilities you had before. There really is nothing to lose. So don't be a dope. Go and have a word with the high priest. Oh, balls. Let's just do it. Welcome, seekers, to All Trades Abbey. No doubt you are here in search of a new way of life, one brimming with possibilities, and with fresh skills to hone and abilities to discover. Well, are you ready to undergo a change of vocation? To take the first steps on a new and as yet untrodden path? And who will be undergoing the change? What does friend Saigon wish to become? Become a warrior. Wow, look at all of these. These are just the classes that we... Good lord. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna pull up the, uh, the bottom window. So you guys can see this. 
Because it gives all the information on the bottom. As well as uh, you get appearance changes. What can a sailor do? Water attacks. Boy, that's a buff to almost everything. We might start him off as a... Sailor, I think. Yeah, and this is just the basic classes, Glitchster. There are other classes to unlock. Orbo! Hello, hello, Orbo. Hey, sweetie. Our fan just got knocked over. Can you please, uh... I heard it. Alright. It has long been our custom here at All Trades Abbey to have the individual who wishes for a new vocation to bathe in the sacred waters before undergoing the change. If I could ask you to walk into the pool behind me, you will be cleansed in preparation for the new life that waits. That awaits. And here it is. Ah, ha, ha. How does it feel? Do you enjoy the sensation of the power being drained from your body? Or do you not yet realize you have fallen into my trap, that you have been deceived? The pool in which you now stand is designed to drain you filthy human worms of all your spells and abilities, thereby stripping you of both skills and purpose. Now, prepare to be sent to a living hell, wherein you will have ample time to rue all that you have lost. Gah ha 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 ha! I still have the bottom screen up. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I think I only have like four herbs for this, and that might be a problem. This is why people haven't been journeying back from all trades. Ah, you blockheads, you scared all the fish away. New arrivals, eh? That's the second time today. First we had that warrior going on about wanting to become a hero or something, and now here you are. I came rushing over to see what all the fuss was about, and it's just some stupid travelers who've had their powers stolen by that fake priest. Well, that'll teach me to get overexcited. I should have stayed in bed. Yeah, because you guys didn't all make the same mistake. No magic for now! This place is known as Pilgrim's Perdition. It's a real dog-eat-dog -dog town. Don't go thinking you can make a break for it. We've got either the mountains or ocean penning us in on all sides. It's basically a living hell, but it's home. Ah, it's you. I happen to see you dropping in to see us, so to speak. I'm Zev. Sorry, but I can't go letting perfect strangers into my house. Why don't you clear off, hmm? Well, fine, but I'm gonna break these pots. Pilgrim's Perdition is a town inhabited by all the poor gullible souls who got duped by that fake high priest. Present company very much included. I wouldn't stand a chance against a monster in this sorry state, but if I had my skills back, I'd be able to wallop the filthy creatures guarding the cave to the west, no sweat. There's a man down in the cellar bar dressed in the same outfit as the Altrade's Abbey officials. There's something very fishy about him. I'd give him wide berth if I were you. This place sucks. I remember this place sucking. I think my first time playing the game, this is where I stopped. <laughs> second time playing the game 
I actually did clear this and get access to uh, class changing, and then that was where I stopped. <laughs> I don't want to hear any back chat, Priesty. Give me all your money. Come on, cough it up. In the name of the Almighty, let me be. I'll be more than happy to, just as soon as you hand over every last gold coin in your purse. Hmm? Who are you? This isn't public entertainment, you know? Are you going to clear off or what? No. Get out. Oh, is that right? Sounds like I'm going to have to teach you some manners. Started a fight with the wrong group of children. Suddenly he's a harmor. Fairly certain, yeah, all spells have been stolen. Oh my god, Maribel. Maribel, Maribel, Maribel. Maribel's just gonna be worthless down here. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's, it's awful. It's awful down here. Erg. Yeah, run. Run away. I have no idea who you are, but I'm most grateful. Round here, I'm afraid the law of the jungle prevails. The weak are routinely beaten and robbed. I dearly wish I wasn't such a pushover. Please be cheap. Oh, okay, that's that's cheap enough. Oh, and I have uh, I can sell a bunch of stuff. I have Kiefer's stuff. I I'm uh, I'm feeling better since he left the party yesterday. It's all right for all those warriors and martial artists. Even without their spells and abilities, they're still tough. But a mage without spells is no use to anyone. I'd put a stinker of a curse on that fake priest, if I'm still capable of such things. Steel broadsword would be nice. A snooze stick. That's not that great. Oh! We have the poison moth knife. Definitely need better armor. Dancer's costume. Probably gonna pick up the dancer's costume. Ooh, or the cloak of evasion. The cloak of evasion is gonna be really good at this point in the game. Better shield for Maribel. Maribel's the one who's really hurting the most. Let's see what we can't sell. We can get rid of this bone steak, absolutely. I think the poison moth knife will be somewhat useful right now. Between that and I kind of want to get the sleeper stick. <laughs> yeah, we don't need these. I don't know if that iron helmet... What in the world has happened to this town? The buildings are falling apart. The people are horrible. This place is the pits. I can't remember. If 
this helmet is better for Saigon. Nope, that's what he's wearing. Okay. I thought there might be something that Kiefer had that Saigon didn't. Alright, uh, Cloak of Evasion from Maribel. Absolutely. Sell her dress. I think we'll hold on to those slime earrings. So close to being able to buy that silver platter. Did I sell an iron shield? I feel I might have. Kitty shield. Yes, we can sell the kitty shield and get the silver platter. What's up, Tater Tot? We can sell one of the poison moth knives, because we don't need two of them. We can sell the iron helmet. Hey, Tilty McSteamer, how are you doing? Definitely get some stronger weapons. I think the snooze stick would be really nice to have on Maribel, along with uh, the poison moth knife. We'll see if we have enough money for it before we're done with this area. She's not going to be very useful with the whip right now. So let's give her some utility instead. In this way, she's going to at least be paralyzing things. <clears throat> Snooze stick would be nice, but we don't have the money for that right now. Organize items. Yes. Oops. I can do that for everyone. Why am I doing this the hard way? Organize the bag. And let's go stock up on herbs. Everything in this town smells like sweaty socks. I'm glad I'm not a wolf anymore. Now that I've got fingers, I can hold my nose. That's the bar. Herbs! Herbs, I say! More herbs! Like seriously, all the damned herbs. Alright, this this should be fine. I want to say this will be fine. I always hate when they pull this stuff. I'm pretty sure this guy's another harmer. A 
about that little misunderstanding back there? No hard feelings, yeah? Let's let bygones be bygones and make a fresh start of all that stuff. All that stuff. You just don't want to get beat up again. But I guess I don't have to fight that guy. No one in town is allowed to touch the Soul Stealer, Strom's orders. You may turn a blind eye to extortion, violence, and whatever other crimes you care to name, but that's one rule he won't compromise on. Master Strom won't brook any soul stealing on his watch, you know. He's strictly opposed to the over exploitation of the weak. And since he's the boss around here, that means no one will be taking up the soul stealer anytime soon. They wouldn't dare defy him. I'll defy him! <laughs> I shall defy everything! Speaking of petty theft. <laughs> Took your stash. Whoop. Oh, were there stairs over here? I was hoping there might be some pretty young ladies here taking the waters. Turns out they won't let blokes anywhere near the place when it's girls' turn to have a bath and that. Gutted. Well, maybe there is some, uh, useful lawfulness down here. Not so fast. Getting in the tub with your clothes on is frowned upon, to say the least. If you want to take a dip, you're going to have to go au naturel. Have you heard of the Soul Stealer? It's a monstrous sword forged from the souls of human beings. They say that it that being struck by it will suck the soul from the victim while leaving their body intact. That sounds rough. Have you met Nava yet? No. Oh, well, she's a real beauty who lives in the southern part of the town. I'd like to get her know her, get to know her better, but her brother Zev is very protective. He doesn't take kindly to other men hanging around her. I'll show you, Strom. Just you wait and see. I'm still the top dog in this town. Revenge is going to be so sweet. That last time, you were just lucky. And the time before that, you were lucky then too. But your luck is going to run out. There's nothing surer. Ha ha ha. Do you see that warrior over there praying? Every time he has a run-in with Strom, he has to be stre <laughs> stretchered here to recover. Strom may be cold, cruel, and ruthless, but he draws the line at cold-blooded murder. If you were to strike someone down without very good reason, he'd have you marched out of town and left to the mercy of the monsters. Take my advice, my young friends. Don't go wandering around at night. You never know when some lunatic might be roaming the streets armed with the Soul Stealer. Folks get taken in by the monsters' promises, you see. They tell them that stealing people's souls is their only hope of escaping this place. I want to say we're close to getting like a sage's rock or something. Ah, this is intolerable. All my hard-earned spells and abilities have been torn away from me. All my dreams of becoming a hero, all the efforts I made to train myself up, all for nothing. Meow, said the cat. Meow. Is this a bank? Ooh, there's a fragment in here. There it is! There's a bank. That doesn't belong to you. A client left it here, and it's my job to make sure no one touches it. This, this too? God damn it.
Oh, they only work in deposits of a thousand. <laughs> Just shy of saving my money. I'm down to my last 30 gold coins. I'm, I'll never be able to pay me rent now. Maybe it's time I did a runner. In here. In here. Urgh. Sends a chill down my spine even thinking about it. You know what I'm talking about, of course. No idea. You don't? I'm talking about the Soul Stealer. It's an evil sword that sucks out the souls of those who s it strikes. Apparently, our monstrous jailers tell, have promised to free anyone willing to fell five people with it. As to what will happen to the victims, I shudder to think. triggered a cutscene. That's what happened. I've got to take my hat off to that thief fingers. He really came through with the goods this time. I owe him one. This medicine doesn't come cheap. Now, Eustace, what next? Oi, I made good on my side of the bargain. Now it's your turn. You know what I'm after. Yes, yes. You wish to become one of the high priestess's bodyguards. Bingo. It's been me dream since I was a nipper. Well, if you want me to make that dream a reality for you, I'm afraid I have another little favor to ask first. You what? Hang about, that wasn't what we agreed. Do you have any idea what I went through to get that medicine for you? Calm down, friend. No need to get worked up. It's hardly fitting behavior for a future member of the High Priestess's personal guard. You still want to join us, correct? Then you'll just have to accept that this is the way things are. We'll talk later. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, this guy's a dick. I don't like this guy. Fingers, how can I make your day better? You're new here, ain't ya? Well, you'd do well to remember me. The name is Fingers. I'm a thief by trade, but I've been doing a little bit of everything lately. If there's anything you want, anything at all, just give a shout. If you've got the money, I've got the time. Poor Nava is a very sickly girl. She does. She spends more of her time asleep than she does awake. She's just lucky she's got a brother like Zev to look after her. No one believes me, but I was a priest at All Trades Abbey. I slipped away when one of those monstrous guards wasn't looking. I risked my life to make it here, and now no one will talk to me. That bloke over there's got a screw loose, if you ask me. He claims he worked up at All Trades Abbey, but how could he have done? Everyone knows the monsters did all the priests in, dead as doornails, every one. When someone's soul gets sucked out of them, they scream like you wouldn't believe. It's enough to wake the dead. Which is why when someone's foolish enough to pick up the soul stealer, the whole town comes running as soon as the first victim gets got. And everyone knows the rules. We'll do anything to stop those foolish enough to take up the, that awful challenge, even if it means killing them. The monsters holding us prisoner are happy to leave us to rot. They don't tend to attack us. No, if anyone gets killed around here, it's more likely to be the result of a bust-up between two humans. Many metal. Is anyone here brave enough to take up the gauntlet? Is anyone willing to make a stand? 
to take the Soul Stealer in hand and win the fight to a future. The Soul Stealer, what's that? How good of you to ask, it is a mighty sword forged from the souls of man, and anyone courageous enough to take it in hand and smite the souls from five of their fellow men will have their powers restored and will be given the freedom to leave this accursed place. Are you serious? But of course, Cardinal Sin, master of all trades, Abbey, is nothing if not fair. Though you may be mere humans, if you show that you have sufficient steel to take up this challenge, he will be happy to grant you your freedom. If any among you believe that you have what it takes, make yourselves known to us. Alright, that's enough. No one in this town has got any time for your weasel words, you filthy tricksters. Hi, sweetie. Okay, I love you. Mwah. Have a good day. Alas, we have been rudely interrupted, but do not forget the deal we offer, humans. If you wish to escape this hellish prison, you have but one simple choice. Take up this sword and harvest those souls. Hi, Lobo. Those damned monsters have got a nerve, showing their faces here in broad daylight. Ah, you're new here. Welcome to Pri Pilgrim's Perdition. Later, Ashes. The name is Strom. I run this town. If you want to live here, you have to play by my rules. And one of those rules is you have to take our little welcoming ritual with as much of a smile as you can muster. <laughs> We're getting jumped! Ouch. Why are you two not healing me? God damn it. God! Could this be it? Could this be the fight? <laughs> this might be the fight. Oh my god, Maribel got so lucky there. Oh my god, Maribel! <laughs> oh lord! <laughs> Maribel! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she did so well for so long. <laughs> Alright, I, I think we can manage this. I just switched them over to manual healing too late. Okay, alright, that's a stu- We're not gonna make it this time. We're not gonna make it this time. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get this. What am I always telling you, Nava? You're too much of a soft touch. 
Why should you care what happens to them? You should have left them to fend for themselves. If we just left them lying there, how long do you think it would have been before our fellow citizens started helping themselves to everything they owned, hmm? Bah! Who cares? In case you hadn't noticed, they're complete strangers! Was that a fight that we're intended to lose? I feel like I almost had it, too. That's the tragedy there. Hey, I didn't lose my money. Alright. Those guys are in trouble next time. They're in big trouble next time. Stock back up on medical herbs. Hey, Lord Sword Dancer, how are you doing? Well, usually when you uh, lose a fight, um, just the hero wakes up at a church, and then you have to spend money to revive everybody else. The fact that this moved into story stuff seems to me that it's intended that you lose the fight, although it definitely seemed winnable. There's a book entitled Herbs You Can Count On. It contains an overview of all the plants and berries that can be used for medicinal purposes. Oh, hello. It's good to see you up and about. Not too many cuts and bruises, I hope. I must say, you've bounced back impressively quickly. You looked like you were going to be out for, out for the count for a while. If I'd taken the kind of punishment you did, I wouldn't have left my bed for a week. That's because you're not well, sis. You should always be resting, not looking after waifs and strays. Zev. Nava, are you here? I've brought you some medicine. Here, I got you this. It's called Yggdrasil Dew. Apparently, it should help you breathe a little easier. Okay, maybe this guy's not that bad. Oh, thank you so much, but I know what it is, and it's terribly expensive. How in the world did you manage to eat? Sorry, I almost dropped it. Here, let me pour it for you. You, Eustace, it's okay. I can do it for myself. Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, I see. You're worried about what people will think. Sorry, I should have thought about it, that. Thanks for the medicine, Eustace. Now, I'm afraid my sister has exhausted herself looking after our guests. She really should go and lie down. There's no need to look at me like that, Zev. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm trying to help. I just wanted to bring the medicine as quickly as I could, that's all. Well, Nava, I'd better be off. Look after yourself. What's that? No, I'm not blushing. I, I must be coming down with a fever or something. Perhaps I should go and have a little lie down. The good Samaritan who brought the medicine has got his eye on my sister, and everyone knows it. Who does he think he is anyways, acting like he's our savior or something? No one asked him to help us. Anyway, I know what he's after. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. Grumpy Zev. Zev is grumpy. So once I sort this for you, I'll be all set to take pride of pl pride of place amongst the high priestess's bodyguards, right? Pucka. Well, she'll have no need of bodyguards as long as she's being held captive, which is why we have to free her. High priestess Jacqueline must be rescued at all costs. Well, old fingers is um the safest pair of hands in the business. Leave it to me. <laughs> You're a curious character, you know. What kind of person would beg to become a high priestess's bodyguard at a time like this? There's nothing curious about it. You've got to turn a crisis into an opportunity. That's what I always say. I may be a common or garden tea leaf now, but if I can show I've got what it takes, I can join the priestess's guard and be sorted for life. Well, just be sure to not let me down. I've put a lot of faith in your thieving skills. It's time to put them to good use. You guys want some help? 
I hear there's a rescue going on. Yeah, I know you lot. You're the ones who got properly pummeled by Stro old Strom. Well, you put up a decent fight, I'll give you that. Actually, since you're here, and given that you know how to handle yourselves, I've got a little favor to ask. I want you to join me on a little jaunt over to the cave west of here. It's the only way to escape this horrible place and get over to All Trades Abbey, and that's where I need to get to. Got business up there, you see? Oh, and don't worry, I don't expect you to do it for nothing. Here, get a load of this little beauty. Roughly Hewn Stone. Salvation Stone! Oh my god, my god, my god, my god, my god, yes! Given that to Maribel, use that when you're wounded and you'll be right as rain just like that. Right, that's the formalities out of the way. Let's get moving, shall we? It's a Sage's Stone! We're giving that to Maribel. Maribel. Congratulations, you're now our healer. <laughs> Throw that in the bag. Oh. Bag. Salvation stone. Oh, okay. It looks like a sage's stone for one target. Still. Still, though. That is going to be a huge boon to us. Alright. Well, we're all healed up. Nothing we can really buy. Well, no. Can we buy something? I thought we could. Not the news stick. That's definitely too expensive. Can I have my skills back now, please? I don't want to stay like this for the rest of my life. Me neither, Rough. We'll get on it. We'll get on it. Iron Shield! Yes, we can afford it. We might as well grab it. Fur cape isn't good for anyone. Alright, I know I have herbs in the bag, but we did go through a few, and I expect that we're going to need to go through more. So I'm just going to fill the hero back up this way. Well, that's it. That's it, that's it. Alright, let's save and then we'll go! Maribel, focus on healing. Rough, show no mercy. Oh, of course he did. Fingers, I would appreciate it if you did more than just stand around and try and use... Should we go around the long way? No, we can... It won't hurt that much. We have the Salvation Stone. Mm. 
Man, fingers. Fingers is just going to spam medicinal herbs on us. He's like Larsa from FF12. Larsa and his eye, eye potions. So I took a step back out of that cave there to do a quick sweep for um, <laughs> treasure chests. And I got jumped for it immediately. Is he just using them on random people? Damn, Maribel! Oh shit. <laughs> Maribel was serious with that. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. The Western Cave. Hey, you're a monster I haven't fought yet. Yeah, Sadie, you might just have to do some grinding. Get some better weapons. Boomerangs are really, really good in this game, it seems. Like, they were pretty decent in 8. And they were okay in 3, but they are really, really good in this one. <laughs> hey, Hero, how are you doing? Oh no, a mud mannequin! Don't steal my MP that I can't use. Fingers, would you help more than just... Just stands around watching. Stabby. No. Take on the pip. I haven't seen this poison moth knife paralyze anything yet. Hopefully this snooze stick is a bit more impressive. I don't know if we're going to have 4,000 gold by the time we get back to town, though. Maribel, good job. Still no paralysis! I know it wasn't going to make any difference in combat there, but... I'm kind of disappointed. Fingers? Oh no, he was assessing the situation again. We're actually, we're making decent money in here. I don't know, maybe we will have enough for this new stick. Were those ulcer enemies in any other game? I don't recall them from anything else. If they are in something else, they are in six or maybe monsters. Do I want to go this way? We'll go this way. Good job, fingers! No, Maribel! Damn it, that one would have died anyways. Chest down there? I don't see one. 
That might just be a strictly dead end. I can't remember if there was treasure this way. I don't think there was, but I don't want to miss any. And there wasn't. Oh well, more XP and gold. I know you guys like focusing on what's weakest, but I really wish you'd focus on the scorpions. Gabo and the hero are more than enough for the ulcers. Yes, thank you! Oh no, he must have like one or two HP left. He's so close to death. And seriously, this poison moth knife is doing jack for me. Like, I thought it might be a little bit useful? No. Holy crap, this place is a real maze. Uh, what is this? Forky pigs. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what a great name for a monster. Ouch. That, 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 that's all, folks. I don't do a very good porky pig. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, helpful hero. Also, that's all, folks. <laughs> Great minds. Great minds, helpful hero.
<laughs> is the poison moth knife just terrible in this game, or what? <laughs> It's not like I've really used it heavily in other games, but I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to mess around with it. And so far, I am not convinced. That's the spirit, Sadie. Your drill is the drill that will pierce the heavens. Wait. This is where we were before, isn't it? It is! It is where we were before. Uh, let's check out these other stairs down here before I have to run through the... Does it work as a use item? Um, you know... That's a good question. I always thought that it was a chance to... Ugh, we're not going to mess with it right now. We're going to let Maribel heal up rough. Of course, Fingers is going to help too. We'll experiment with it next fight. I'm not lost. I know exactly where I am. Okay, well, once we're all healed up, I'll, I'll try and, I'll try it out as a use item. We'll try. We'll try, we'll try. No, no, no. Nothing. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to take a trip through the poison. The marsh. Alright, we're all healed up. I will try the poison moth knife as a use item next fight. If I remember. There is no treasure chest down there. I thought there might be. Okay. Maribel? This knife may paralyze its target from time to time. Yeah, I doubt it's going to be a use item, but let's just check. Yep, no, nothing. Damn. It's just it's just that bad. Oh. Getting a bit windy outside. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's time for me to take a break. I'd almost forgotten. All right, everybody, I'll be back in like five minutes. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoy the videos, please remember to hit like and subscribe. And if anyone would like to further help out the channel, check out my Patreon page. It is linked below. Be back shortly, folks.